One way uh, we actually uh, tried to apply it was in the context of central line associated bloodstream infections. And in that context, in addition to the great work that has been done on uh, insertion of central lines, we were interested in maintenance activities. And here we talk specifically about dressing changes. And uh, we performed initially, and as you can see, my work is really a human factors based, and so we use the tools and the techniques that come out of human factors. We initially performed a task analysis of um, dressing changes, what is required in terms of equipment, in terms of cognitive processes, in terms of planning and so on. And we decided that uh, it is a very complicated task, despite the fact that many people would say um, a nurse should just be able to do this task. Um, we identified 25 at minimum steps. We identified about 28 different components of equipment that are required. And what we did was, after performing this task analysis, was to uh, develop a kit that implements some of these uh, principles of adherence engineering, for example, guidance, guiding people, and uh, through the process, and uh, using these kits as a demonstration of how a successful application of adherence engineering can be in the context of infection. Uh, prevention. And so we were able, after uh, implementing those kits um, in a post, pre post um, implementation study, we were able to demonstrate that we had a reduction of infections. Actually, we were very lucky, and I emphasize luck is part of it. We actually had zero infections during the study interval, central line associated bloodstream infections. So clearly, the insertion process worked really, really well. <laughs> Uh, but also the maintenance process worked for us very well and it took about 16 months after implementation that we had actually the first uh, insulin line associated bloodstream infection. So instead of having the typical, I think we had prior to implementation 12 per year, we actually got lucky for more than a year with zero. And again, luck was important because uh, I always think of these issues as um, things that are controllable and those that are not controllable. And we know that a lot of it is not controllable. The kit is one way to exert a little bit more control. It's a way of um, structuring behavior and incentivizing certain types of behavior that are uh, desirable behavior in terms of you know following procedure, like, for example, optimal maintenance, central line maintenance.